<clears throat> Hello. Alright, so I'm back playing Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. I've played a lot of this game so far. Uh, I'm not sure where my party is right now. Yeah, no, not gonna work. Let's make this... There we go. And then... Alright, so together they'll be... Dick Cheney, and we'll have Bush. Perfect. Dick Cheney and Bush. What do you guys think? Good team? Dick Butt, Soft Crunch, and Charles were lost to the war. <clears throat> Alright. As you can see, this little green check mark, that means I beat the game. Yeah. Um, I've unlocked every wagon except for the alien and the golden the random, and the meta, and I beat the game with a lot of them as I'm sure you saw. So I'm just going to be using the standard to show you guys, you know, how things go and all that. It's pretty good. So let's do it. Same game as always. Go with Yellow Fever. This is a good start. It shouldn't be too big of a problem as long as I don't get hit, because he'll just heal back to full after the disease goes away. Time to collect some hides. These are important. Alright, I got 11 hides. Bandits. Now, normally, you would think being attacked by bandits would be pretty threatening. It's not, because they use these stupid little horses to attack a wagon about five times their size. Pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, look, a health pack. Alright, so I don't even have to worry about getting hit now. I can, as long as I don't get hit twice, I'm good. <clears throat> machine gun. So machine gun's really easy, actually. You just have to... duke it. Hey, look, a hunting rifle, so I can even hit it when I'm above it. When he starts moving, you just want to move with him. And he'll miss you... most of the time. Hey, look at that. Recovered from yellow fever. Full health. Left the wagon to look for wild berries. I'm guessing that he's going to be attacked by a bear. Yeah, attacked by a bear. A bear wanted the berries. In its last cry, it let out a. a uh, it let out a cry that. It's, I'm being attacked by bears. Basically. Moral of the story is. As you can see, the bears are pretty manageable. You just have to be careful not to get cornered or killed by any of the super fast ones. Dick ran back to the wagon. Alright. A river crossing. Now, jumping it is usually the better idea, but I'm really good at fording the river, and I'm not too worried about the pirate ship, so I'm just going to ford it. There were boulders in the river. Fortunately, we have complete control over everything. There were a lot of boulders in the river. Again, not really, ah, uh, well, there I go, getting cocky. Got hit once. Something, something boulders. Easy enough. Reach the other side. No boulders. Haha. <laughs> Alright, Great Plains. Yeah, they try and catch you off guard with boulders and buffalo. Hey, look at the day number. It was like 2147, like, it was like a very, very large number. Notice the buffalo were kind of weird. Yeah, it's not, it's not like an accident. You might call this a glitch, actually. Day, day number, code number. Uh, I'm doing really bad, actually. Yeah, these buffalo are pretty large. Not gonna lie, but it's a little bit weird why they're so big. Hey look, error, unhandled exception, blah blah blah, null reference. I'm in the glitch zone! It's like the chalk zone, but... Yeah. Alright, so I'm battling the glitch orb. He's the, uh, incarnation of everything glitchy. And we get the title screen! Perfect. A fur trader. Please give me health. Now he offered me a better pistol, but I don't really want the better pistol. <clears throat> Plus I don't have enough money. Haha. <laughs> so there's a prairie fire now. I guess we used a little bit too many bullets. 
Not really sure how bullets can cause quite such a large amount of fire. Smoke was suffocating, so we hurried. Yep, we're going pretty fast. Hey, look, a flamethrower. That's pretty fitting for this situation. Alright. Easy enough. Just kind of be careful. Up and down is all you really need. Decided to look for a flower for Cheney. <laughs> Dick had grown fond of Cheney during their travels. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If you fire with the uh, with the flower, you get little hearts that go in different directions. Oh, I love you too, Cheney replied. So Dick and Cheney had a uh, quite the moment here, and they all healed a full. Hooray! He needed to relieve himself, and guess what? He got attacked by a zombie. It was a zombie. Luckily, flamethrowers are the perfect way to deal with zombies, as I'm sure most people would probably be able to guess. There's giving me a lot of weapons here, honestly, though. Like, more than I need. Um, which gun do I want? Let's take the laser gun. <clears throat> it seemed that this disease had spread to animals. I don't even need the health pack right now, actually. Yeah, see the lasers, basically any gun that isn't just a standard pistol makes this really easy. The buffalo are honestly the hardest zombie horde just because they take a lot of hits to kill. But they're pretty slow, so you can pretty much kill all of them pretty easily. <clears throat> Dick couldn't believe what had happened or that he had survived. We read around we sat around reading Bible passages. It's kind of funny considering the names of the party. Alright, this one was too deep to forward. Now Going around leads you through a desert pass, which is harder than going underwater usually. Um, the, usually the reason you would go around is if you have lost a party member and need to get a new one, because you can find an experienced traveler sometimes. So I'm going to swim through because all my travelers are at full health. Or we're going to face deadly piranhas. They face deadly piranhas. <clears throat> Great, more health. You see that over there? If you're not aware of what that is, that is an airstrike. <laughs> Look, another one. Well, I called that in too soon, but that's okay. We're probably gonna face jellyfish or narwhals next, I'm guessing. Poisonous jellyfish. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, clearing my throat. See, the uh, jellyfish take three hits to kill from the regular pistol, and they're pretty annoying because they have really erratic move patterns, and they just kind of block the piranhas. The oxen got freaked out and swam too fast. Okay, so this is kind of intimidating because the speed can get the best of some people. But as you can see, the piranhas don't chase you very well whenever you're going faster. When you're going slower, they can really hunt you down pretty effectively. So, not really all that bad, this event here. Taking two hits, kind of unnecessary hits. Giant squid. So the squid is actually probably the easiest boss in the game because you can just do this the whole time. Yeah, the flamethrower makes him pretty easy too. The flamethrower basically decimates most bosses. Okay, and if you fight the squid, you'll find a treasure chest usually. He wasn't sure if he should open it. The reason they give you an option here is because if you have a pistol you really like, and you don't want to get rid of it, you don't have to open it. But since my pistol is just the standard one, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Dinosaur eggs. Okay, so this is one of the crystals another wagon gets. And you throw these eggs, and they do something special. <clears throat> you'll see what they are and what that is in just a minute. We hunted. So these eggs? They hatch. That's right. You throw pterodactyl eggs which hatch and then home in on the nearest uh <coughs> the nearest target. <coughs> in case you're wondering, no, they cannot hurt me. They're friendly pterodactyls. A pack of wolves. So the wolves are probably the worst enemy in the game, in my opinion. Because if you miss one or like it runs past you, it'll turn around until it gets you. Pretty pretty rough. The shotgun makes hunting wolves pretty easy, so nothing to worry about here. Harpoon gun, not so much. It's great for a lot of situations, just not wolves. Alright, this fur trader asks for a lot more furs for his supplies. Heavier dinosaur eggs. 
So this will make my eggs bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, because hitboxes is nice. Oh, I just used a shotgun pellet. Whoops. A snowstorm began. Interesting. The wolves were relentless during the snowstorm, that's fine. I don't like wolves, but I mean... Yeah, as you can see, the eggs now hatch into two pterodactyls. So that's really helpful, actually. A dark figure. It was Bigfoot. It's Bigfoot, right? It's Bigfoot. That's right. Turns out it was Bigfoot, and Bigfoot was mad. Bigfoot's pretty tough, and you don't really get anything for beating him. So, uh, basically just a trap. Like a miniature boss that's designed to kill a run random party member. Flocks of crows are easy. Just hit down immediately, and then start going up and down intermittently, and you'll dodge all the crows, no problem. We're nearing the end of the, uh all the previous segments and all that. We're about to get to the last segment of the game, and things will probably go pretty well for us now, since we have the heavier pterodactyl eggs. We landed in a river, we carry, carry down in a raft. I've been informed that in the original Oregon Trail, this is actually something that happens. You kind of turn into a raft to get through one last river. So it's neat they did a little reference there to this. So the heavier eggs is actually a huge blessing in this area, because these boulders normally take three shots to kill, Getting, hitting them with a heavy dinosaur egg destroys them in one shot. So we got pretty lucky here. As you can see, the boulders would be a big, pretty big problem if uh, I didn't have this. A bunch of sharks. The sharks are going to be a problem because you can't really dodge them all that well and the eggs aren't as great against them. But they're not too bad. They're not like instant death or anything. As you can see, I took a couple hits. But as I said, this is the last event of the game, so it really shouldn't be a problem. This is, uh, unnecessary amounts of pits, actually. Alright, being ban ambushed by bandits. So, I should be fine. I'm screwing up more than I really should here. But, I should be okay. Yeah, see, they, they have shotguns, which is actually really bad. Because the shotguns are, like, really hard to dodge. But, again, I should be okay. The dinosaur eggs really make this easy. As you could just see there. Yeah, they're, they're a huge blessing, honestly. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Alright, so this is the final boss. As you can see, the sharks are still attacking and there will still be boulders in the river. There will just be less of them. If you now enter shotgun mode, just kind of stay with him. Same deal with the uh, machine gun bandit. Alright, we reached the sunset. We reached the coast. We admired the sunset. And there's some pelicans here. There are little extra enemies you can get for some extra hides. But it doesn't really matter because... Oh, a noise coming from the water. Hey, it's the squid! A giant squid wanted the second treasure back. That's interesting. I've never seen this before, actually. Yeah, easy enough. The squid's really easy, even here. Finally, Chain, you can relax and watch the sunset. So, some extra hides here, as usual. That was interesting. That's a new event I've never seen before. Um, I guess if you don't take the treasure chest, that won't happen. Um, but yeah, that's it. You win. So, as you can see, I've gotten pretty stupidly good at this game by playing it too much. You could say I got lucky there by getting the dinosaur eggs, but really, it's not so hard to make it through. There's just a few hard cir circumstances, and that last segment is really difficult without something to destroy the boulders properly. Um, so it kind of comes down to luck in that respect, but it's mostly just playing the game and getting familiar with the scenarios, getting used to them so you can react to them in time. Uh, and yeah, this has been basically a miniature walkthrough of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, and I hope this helps you if you're trying to figure out how to play the game. If not, I hope you got some amusement out of the really ridiculous things that happened. But that's all. Talk to you later, YouTube.